I'm Haley Fitzpatrick, and I am Catholic. I'm Bailey Kirsten. I am an eclectic witch slash agnostic. Hello, everyone. My name is Shukri Suhir, and I'm a practicing Muslim. All right. Hello. My name is Alec Morris, and I'm an agnostic. Hey, I'm Sid Satish, and I'm a Hindu. So, if you guys could talk about um, why do you think people develop hatreds towards a specific religion? Where do you think the origins of that are? I think it just kind of stems from like how most religions, you know, they don't really leave room for any outside input. They're like, this is the only way. This is, we are right, we are correct. And so when you get every religion or practice saying that they are the right way, like that can cause tension between the followers and like just the religions themselves. I think uh, ignorance has a big part to do with it, like not understanding or not knowing the reality of what you're talking about. Yeah, I agree. I don't really think that misunderstanding of religions is because of the religion itself, but it's more about the people who both look at the religion and practice the religion. So, for example, in the Muslim community, I am kind of sad to see people not being as open to other non-Muslims and trying to um, assimilate with people and stuff, so I think that the Muslim community has an obligation to themselves to go out and to participate in other interfaith works like I'm doing right now. And also, people who are not Muslims and looking at Islam should also try to educate themselves a bit more so they won't, um, they won't misinterpret our religion and misunderstand our religion. I think hatred towards a religion kind of stems from people misjudging the actions of like a small section of people. Uh, especially if like they all follow the same sect of a religion, then uh, people who are otherwise uneducated towards what they stand for uh, could assume that they kind of they represent a, more of a majority, and then from that people kind of kind of digress into like fear over that religion or panic or and also hatred against it. Yeah, and uh, along with that about ignorance and stuff, um, a lot of it has to do with how they're portrayed by mass media. And um, because a lot of the times it isn't an unbiased look at the religion, it's sort of a focused look at either the worst or best things about a religion. So how do you guys think you can ex accept each other's differences when you're trying to figure out how to be tolerant of each other? I really don't think it's that hard to accept other people for who they are. And so like that's, that's why I've always been confused about all this like ignorance and hate towards each other because it's just like everybody is just choosing a way to live their life and usually um, a religion or something will promote like a way to be a better person a way to make your community or just environment better and yet all the tension and ignorance ends up kind of doing the opposite effect so I don't think it's that hard to accept somebody else especially in America where we have the freedom to practice what we believe or not to practice any religion at all I think you just need to I don't know what I always think about it I'm like I would not want somebody else telling me how to live my life so why how do I have the right to tell somebody else and it just really you know it stems from just as long as you're a good person who's doing good things I don't think it should matter really yeah it's just kind of a you do you uh, as long as you don't use your religion to uh, hurt or oppress other people or to justify oppressive actions, uh, then really it's, it's just who you are, how you want to live your life. You're a part of your identity. Yeah, there's actually a verse in the Quran which says that there is no compulsion in religion, meaning that Muslims aren't allowed to go out and enforce the Muslim law on non-Muslims. So like everybody has their own religion and their own beliefs, and Islam specifically says that Muslims should respect non-Muslims' beliefs and um, be tolerant of them. I feel like most religions, they all have the same ideas of like, kind of like, they're all like basically at their core, it's... It's like a way for how to like the like improve on your life and how how to like be a model person. Uh, of course, each religion has their own idea of how to accomplish this, but they they all kind of they all kind of stress that point. Unfortunately, it, it feels like um, maybe not everybody kind of has that idea in their head, but like there's really no true reason why everybody can't just really get along, even when we have different religions. Uh, in Hinduism specifically, there's um, a sort of common belief um, in the religion where it, they really, the thing is that they accept every other religion. So like whatever you believe in, like as a Hindu, you're supposed to, like, it, it's, you, you, like it should be okay for you basically. And 
The thing with like people like you know not being okay, like not getting along, a lot of it I think has to do with uh, preconceptions. And people like to categorize people like all Muslims are like this or like all people are like that. What actions do you think that we can take to promote religious tolerance? Like how can we go out and promote like a sense of unity? Well, I think that it all kind of goes back to the point um, where pretty much almost any religion out there is really trying to promote peace and unity with, um, with just within people. And they are trying to teach good qualities and good things that are just bettering society and bettering like the way like the Ten Commandments in Christianity which are like thou shalt not steal, honor your father and mother, things like that that are just basic ways that as a human you can work to make your community better, you know. So I think as long as we remember that that's all what we're trying to do. Like we're all just trying to get through life and you know, most of us are trying to do it in a in a way that's beneficial. So I think that <coughs> by the fact that all different religions are like separating people, I think that's kind of not the point. I think uh, education is a really good way to promote uh, tolerance because when you understand something better, I, I mean really a lot of intolerance is, comes out of ignorance. Mm -hmm. So if you understand the religion, you're less likely to to go against it because of something that you do or don't know. Basically, people need to acknowledge the simple fact that the followers of whatever religion or ideology, the majority of them are peaceful people who just want to try their best to follow that particular religion to the best of their ability. And they believe that their religion gives them certain moral standards and sets a certain guideline on how they want to live their life. And as long as that way that they want to live their life is not infringing upon the rights of other people and uh, is detrimental to other people, then it should be totally accepted and fine. There is always this sort of xenophobia a lot of people have of other people. But I think an easy way to do it, especially for you know people who are currently dealing with that sort of like, oh, they can't understand a religion. If you really think about it and you think like, let's take... Um, you know, Christianity, Judaism, and like Muslim, like those three, those are the three biggest religions on the planet. That's a lot of people. Like, so if you think like, oh, like, um, you know, if you look on the news and they're talking about like terrorism, but like all those people, they're nice, normal people. So I think it's important to see the people first, like before any, they seem like nice, normal people. They probably are. It's like, <laughs> so I think that's uh, probably uh, an easy way if you're having difficulty like understanding a religion to sort of like be okay with it. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. So like most people just are good people. Depend mm -hmm. no like no like without even regarding which people like religions people follow. So like it would be best for us to kind of like instead of focus on like the differences in religions, but like the similarities of which all like the ways we think we can actually just like get along. And well, yeah, like adding on to that, we tend to see people as their religion or and nothing else and whereas like we need to see people just as people who are just choosing a specific way to live their life you know like there's there I think there are more that unite us than divide us but we choose to focus on the things that are different 